one of them. First, I'm going to put my summon sign down. You actually don't need this there anymore. I'm going to put my summon sign down, try and get summon, co-op the boss, get a humanity. Oh, that guy respawns. Does the other giant respawn then? Pretty sure it didn't. I know that guy comes back. Okay, so we can still save Logan. We still should save Logan. But now I gotta see if the other one comes back. Oh, that's the shortcut. You just walk in. Okay. So that is the elevator. Unfortunately, it drops you off right beside this guy. I guess you just roll off the edge over there. Anyway, now we have the elevator working. It's so unassuming, and no one left any messages there. Alright, let's check on Fireball Giant. And if we do have to kill him again, then we won't until we're ready to do our boss attempt. Oh, this one stays dead forever. I guess they just didn't want you to fuck up the chance to save Logan. Okay. I got a plan now. First, I'm going to see what's on the other side of that one boulder. Then I'm going to rotate the rock. Dwayne the Rock Johnson, that is. And open the wall, save Logan. Then I'm going to try co the boss. Should I call this character Katie? Katie Perry. Has to be. It, it's it's not. What's the, what's the point? Guess to say. There's not an illusory wall here. There's nothing. There's a staircase that they bring all the boulders up. I guess. It's got a pillar in the middle of it. I bet that's annoying. I have to walk around the pillar. Man, fuck that guy. Oh, it's got a big handful of nothing. An extra thick serving. Just curious. My souls from my previous step are still hanging around over there somewhere. Alright, so... One more level down? Yeah. Just walk in the pressure plate, that doesn't matter.
display the crap of this guy. Probably target him before we say the crap out of him. If you weren't expecting me. Oh, you can't carry his face when he attacks. Sorcery is this. Okay, don't go for the double heavy stab. That doesn't work. That was such a glorious death, but I didn't think he'd actually died. I realize there are far easier ways to get to where we're going. But, uh... I was feeling a bit creative. I presume it doesn't actually matter which direction I fire these, but... Let's just fire them... ...down this way. I'm not even sure where that boulder just went. Sooth. You're not even damaged. Are you aware a giant fucking boulder went through here? I don't think you got the memo. But a giant fucking boulder crashed through here and punched a hole in the wall you were sleeping against. Jesus. Uh, on that note, also beware of giant fucking boulders. Spontaneously coming down here, just as I happen to be standing on it. Oh, heaven, and I'd love to read, but I must log a few things first and speak with. Yes, I'd love you to teach me sorcery. But also being in this location kind of scares me that a boulder might come crashing down at any moment. Even though I specifically pointed them in a different direction. Soul of a hero. See, I saw the boulder queued up there. annoys me. So far... I like that. Yeah. Projectile sent senpai help me out there. Dude, 
do 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 Like, if I'm being real, that's probably the scariest axis in the whole fortress. What is going on there? Multiple orgasms! I've never seen an O face last so long. Time we start doing something about sensitivities. That was a big one. Gives us four slots. I'm going to take Vitality up to 27, so this is fine. Put Great Combustion there. Great Combustion is just a beautiful spell if we ever get invaded. Melee invaders get destroyed by combustion, and great combustion just does it much quicker. Anyway, let's slap our sign down in front of the boss door. We'll wait like five minutes. And then, if we get any action, great, and if not, let me just check my online settings. Global no password, unrestricted. Good. So all we need to do is slap it down and pray. Having said that... Where are you going, mate? It is a Monday night. Almost midnight. Might not get a lot of action. Try it anyway. I have no idea how to get into the basement portion. My only guess is you literally have to roll off by where that elevator drops you, and then you re-enter the main part by coming up on the opposite side of that locked door after exploring the entire basement. But if that's the case, we can actually just do that later, because that's the very first axe trap. So wait like five minutes. And we're doing this because it'll make Solaire happy, and we'll, it'll be easier to join his covenant. It'll also give us a humanity which we can use to get a summon for our own battle, and it'll give us a ton of souls. Might as well go kill some boulders while we wait. That's fine. Your titles are usually okay. Oh, he got me. 
so I'll get him back. Oh sweet, we're being summoned. Hopefully it puts us where our summon sign was and not where we were standing. There's Iron Tarkus, the summon. Oh, this guy's a samurai! Well, his name is Kenshin, so I guess he has no choice. Make an Ashekshi character. So I guess what he wants to do is just the pyromancy at him, which honestly is the best way to deal with him. And that ring there is the key to our progression. 20,000 souls for assisting. Now we do have to go back to the bonfire to reverse hollowing. Might grab some more levels in endurance while we're here. Yeah. So I'm, because this is an invasion hotspot, I am going to spend most of those souls right away. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough humanity to also kindle it. But this is this will do. I do want to move somewhat quickly though. I'll actually put great combustion on my hot bar in case we do get invaded. But now, with this extra endurance, we should get another full stab out of our spear. We can run longer, and we can carry more equipment weight, because endurance is also tied to your burden in Dark Souls 1. Which I like better than having as a separate stat, because it costs less souls to wear heavier armor. Whereas, in Dark Souls 3, for example, they're on separate stats. Oh, there's a sun, bro. Oh, I got another... I got another humanity out of nowhere. Let's summon Iron Tarkus. Because he's an NPC summon, he'll pop up first. I'll give this guy like a minute or two to pop up. Summoning failed. Let's have a quick look around for another summon sign. We don't we really don't need help for this boss. It would be nice to have help for this boss. I don't want to walk across this bridge with Tarkus is Yep. Fine. You guys gonna do a shockwave right off the bat? We don't want to draw this guy in the middle. Tarkus is going to cut his knee off.
we had just enough stats to block that. So we're gonna give this guy some fire anal. He does have a grab attack, but it's got a long tail. And if Tarkus can break his knee joint, then he'll just kneel and he can do so much damage. Here we go. Looks like he skipped kneeling phase. What a fresh combustion gift. The flaming fart in reverse. Oh! I would have got the sack too. Humanity, 40,000 souls, and just because we are running a little bit short on time, I'm going to grab this uh, Ring of Light right away. Now, having done this, we pretty much have to finish An Orlando before we can come back to the regular map. I don't think there's any way to go back without dying before we get to the bonfire. But once we beat this area and get the Lord Vessel, there's a whole bunch of other um, side bosses and mid bosses that we have to do that'll be so much more convenient we can teleport. Also, um, we can revive the Firekeeper at Firelink Shrine in, from this area, right before the boss. Actually, is this guy take you back? Oh, so, it's n I thought you got stuck here, but that guy will actually take you back. We don't want to go back yet, though. Now, that guy will not... These guys won't be a dick to you as long as you're not a dick to them. Look at that sculpture there. It looks like someone might know. They're the gentle giants. Wow, this fire is blazing. Let's spend these souls before we get fucked up. There's not a lot we can do. I can get Vitality 27. And that's the number I want to be at. When you have about a thousand HP, you can survive a PvP attack. So I'm going to put it all into that. Now I'm going to work on some endurance, strength, dex, intelligence, faith, resistance, attunement, whatever. But as long as you're an HP lord, you can survive a fight. You are welcome to the lost city of Anon. If you seek Lord Grinzold, exit here. I'm going to scroll through the text if a little bit quick. I'll leave out on the screen long enough to read, but uh, we don't really have time to uh, listen to this entire thing. If not for me, a gatekeeper. The bonfires attended, they are linked to one another. Yet never shall the keepers of these... If you require rest, that is, after all. If you require rest, that is... Alright. Also, this lightning spear is almost like a joke weapon, because Sen's fortress is weak to lightning for the most part. Oh, you took the piss out of me, Jesus. But guess what? Everything in Anal Londo resists lightning. It still does more physical damage, though.
but we are certainly not seeing the full potential of the spear in Anor Longo. Texture looked just a little bit different. As it turns out, it was a pattern. Alright, so remember that boss? It was a gargoyle. Well, now it's going to be regular enemy. Has your donkulous range. And likes to do bullshit flying attacks. Frankly, I don't know how that missed. And even though it did a special death animation, it totally. Oh, it's just dead. It totally will respawn. Is it an amazing chest? Demon Titanite. Pretty good chest. Where does this go? Guess we say back here. Alternate route to the chest, I guess. I'm pretty sure those gargoyles respawn anyway. So if you go to the end, you'll notice that there's no way you're making that jump. So, we need to find another way around. And that other way around is over here. And now you know where Dark Souls 3 got it from. You know, considering it was the same location. Oh, the camera gets bumped around so much by those pillars. Oh, you bastard. Hello? Well, you picked a bad time to spawn really far away. Can't seem to find their buttholes with all those robes on. Throwing knife. And up here, we have additional butt sex. So, the game wants you to fight these guys over there. I'm going to fight this guy over here. What a brilliant guy. Hey, yeah, go up the slider. How do you feel? A little bit silly. Like, the spear is really good against these guys. Because I can block and attack at the same time. And now we have monster stamina. Oh, oops. 
I dropped my monster condom that I used for my magnum dome. Try beating to a pulp. I am so disappointed I didn't kill anyone by doing that. Something like that. Let's get toasty. You don't have to throw knives. They really hurt though, you must have really high dexterity. Just wondering if you ever ran out. Stay toasty, my friends. Uh, long shot with a short bow. Well, that's that's pretty much it. I have become God. I hit him in his like little baby finger. Five knives. Big spender. Maybe you get more if he doesn't throw them all. Okay, we could still die here, though. If you're wondering, I'm holding my breath in real life. Every time I take a step. Amazing chest ahead. Ooh, that chest over there is not a mimic. Okay, there's a staircase there. So they want to tempt you to jump, but you don't have to jump at all. And oh, don't run! You fool of a took throw yourself in next time. Imminent neck. Like, yeah. So I'm guessing we have to go all the way around the entire gallery. But if it's only these guys... It's knights and shit? I might be worried. Okay, no sneak attacks. Alright, I officially don't know how to get over there now. You have to drop down the statue and roll through the window and then go up. That actually seems plausible. Uh, let's open a shortcut back here and then do that. So yeah, we've lowered the tower. Oh, that was an ambush. Come here, you! Dick face. Oh, you can attack three pillars. Must be nice. Three 
Three swings is the limit, mate. So if it's in the face of the chair, that's lightning breath. Are you aware that I cannot block lightning? I don't want to get. Remember Valley of the Drake, so I got pushed off a ledge by a tail? Let's not repeat that. Charge! Dick. Oh my dick. He killed me with his tail. He had one HP. Fuck off. Twat. At least I have all my spells back. Now we'll test the theory if those uh, gargoyles respawn. Got a name now. The uh, William Trotner. That was my character spinning like shit down a fucking toilet. Okay, it looks like they actually get killed permanently. Unfortunately, he's gonna have all his health back. Praise the sun. But, he's really far away from my souls. I'm no longer human, so I can't get invaded. He probably wouldn't even aggro. Oh, he, he totally aggroes. Jesus Christ, he's always so mad. And he walked in the shit anyway. Remember Valley and the Drakes and the shot lightning breath? Those are the days. I don't think that'll reach. But he ran through it. Like a dick. Dick. Okay, so when you kill the second one, you get the drops that you didn't get from the first gargoyle fight. Also, we can go down and explore the lower floor of that area that we just walked through the rafters of. Now there are a ton of white robes down here, which I believe are just called painting guardians. Oh, there's one. I knew there was one that wanted to get frisky right at the start. Peg you. Oh, fuck on. I like how his friends went to the source of the noise, but didn't bother following to reinforce. Hi! Still gonna throw a knife? Took his carrying shield out, then did an attack that doesn't leave an opening for him to carry. Painting Guardian Sword. Well, you know, there's not very many enemies that use equipment swaps, so I guess I can't complain too much. Here's Johnny! Ah, he stopped. Now it's all ruined. We're supposed to keep going so I can stab you. Now your life is over. Literally. Oh. 
Oh my sweet jumping baby Jesus. Yeah, I've got a problem with that. It's like fucking off, but you're fucking on. I guess it could be short for come the fuck on. Those have the moves like Jaeger. I might have just made it up, but that's half the fun. Now, you understand, if you had moves like Jaeger, you'd come all the way over here. Oh my god, Metal Gear! Dodge it again. Ah, uh -oh, jolly -er. Fortunately, my shaft was longer. Toasty. Ah, oh, scared dick off. Great magic weapon. How great is it, though? Black iron set. Now, because we got that strange doll, we can actually do the painted world right now. But I think we should hold off until after we beat this boss, because then we could just use the Lord Vessel to teleport out if we need to go do something else first. That is, after all, the reason we prioritized Anal Londo. The chat. Do not let me forget to go back to Sen's Fortress. And do the basement. Because I assure you, I will forget. And there's so much loot, I do not wish to forget. Uh, we're gonna go back to the bonfire and end the stream because, frankly, we're not gonna get Anna Londa done in six minutes. Five minutes, even.
Oh, if you want to go to the Duke's archives, it's right over there. But, uh, I hear those Sentinels get pretty angry if you go check it out. The hacks on that guy. Not quite enough, actually. Can we pick up any additional souls? Uh, not really. So close, yet so far. Anyway. I'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this and you're not following me, consider doing so. It helps out a lot. If you watch this on YouTube, hit the like button. I'll see you more. Subscribe if you want to follow my content, and ring the notification bell if you want to know when it's posted. I will catch you next time. Bye now.